Welcome to my channel, Light as a Feather Tarot. This is for the sign of Leo, so this is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. Please take the messages that resonate, leave the messages behind that don't fit. Also, this is a timeless reading, so whenever spirit brings you these messages, that's when they were meant for you to hear. So starting off with your law of attraction card, you have attitude. I attract success and positive people into my life with my positive attitude. Very beautiful energy. You know, um, sometimes people say, you know, why is this person in my life? And a lot of times it's because like attracts like, right? You have to ask yourself, what are you attracting into your life? So you have to be very mindful of your energy and your thoughts. So let me get you guys a healing card. All right, so you have remind yourself that you are a soul spirit being. Very beautiful. Yeah, you know, you have to remind yourself that you, you know, you come from source, right? You, you are this all-knowing, um, powerful being. And a lot of times... You know we have the answers within us you know it's all about channeling the energy meditating listening to your your higher self really tapping into your inner your energy so know that you are a soul spirit being so your overall energy is the world card so this is about some type of sex successful completion right this is about you know once you complete something there's an ending and then there's a new beginning Right underneath you have the page of pinnacles. So this is messages coming in regarding something valuable in nature or something financial in nature. There may be some um, conflict, disagreements around this new beginning, maybe some competition. Um, you know, this could be like drama, gossiping at work as well. It could, this is just like really petty uh, energy. You have the seven of pinnacles so this is you planting seeds investing in your future investing in yourself you patiently waiting you know for your seeds to sprout to move into this ten of pinnacles into the security into this financial abundance so very beautiful so starting out you have the empress you know the empress is a very fruitful energy you know she gives birth literally gives birth right so you could be giving birth you know to a baby um to something creative some type of creative venture this speaks about potential growth as well so you have the world here again you're completing some type of cycle and it's gonna lead you to this path of of abundance to this path of uh, fruitfulness you have the moon card here so there are certain things um, about this path that may be a little bit uncertain to you that may be unknown you have the queen of cups here so this is about you you know being in control of your emotions right um, you have the Three of Swords, so this is about some type of past hurt, but you're healing from that. You know, this is you working on yourself. You guys may receive some type of uh, communication or some type of clarity that comes in regarding some type of past hurt that you're healing from. So this is like certain things that are unknown or uncertain. This is about you receiving that clarity right this is about you receiving that confirmation so you have the three of cups this is about celebrating getting together with the people that support you and love you and you have the queen of pentacles you know this is a very the queen of pentacles is a very nurturing energy so you know if you had some type of plan 
that you're focused on, that you're nurturing, it is going to lead to success. Whatever that you're focused on, whatever that you're tending to, it is going to lead to, you know, you celebrating. You have the five of cups here. So this, this speaks about, you know, some type of past disappointments. You know, you might be back and forth in your head. You know, you, you're moving forward, you're, you're celebrating, you know, but sometimes you may look back at the past and you may this, look at the things that worked and didn't work. You know, when it comes to the five of cups, you know, whatever didn't work out in the past, don't hold on to the energy. You know, what, what could you learn from the situation, right? Because you're, you're reaching some type of completion. What can you learn from the situations in the past that didn't work out the way that you expected them to? You know, really come from a place of um, just being open, just being uh, open to really reflecting, you know, not a pity party, not um, talking to yourself negatively, but really reflecting, really um, going within with the four of swords. So then you have the three of wands. This is about action. This is about your ships coming in. This is about you expanding. There's some type of offer coming in that you, you didn't expect. You might not even see it. So be on the lookout for some type of offer. Because this person in this card, you know, the cup is literally in their face and they don't see it. So make sure you're not missing out on any you know, um, offers or opportunities coming in. You have the nine of wands. So this is about you being persistent and not giving up. You know, not giving up on your future, on your expansion. I feel like some of you, you know, maybe you have been applying, 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 or, you know, you really have been trying with a certain person or a certain situation. You know, you're really looking... You're really wanting to move forward. You're really wanting to expand. You have the Ten of Swords here. So this is this is about, you know, you have a progression here. This offer comes in, it brings you to a nine and to a ten. So you're gonna be completing something. You need to finish up something here. Once you reach this completion, you know, this cycle may have been uncomfortable, it might have been painful. Once you reach this completion, you're going to be able to move forward with your expansion. And there it is. There's the news. There's the news coming in. Something financial or valuable in nature coming in just for you. And I feel like it's, it's going to give you some type of confidence boost. You know, I feel like it's it's going to allow you to to see the light at the end of the tunnel. And I feel like for some of you, it is going to be an upgrade in finances, too. And you're really going to take action on it. Spirit, any additional messages? And it's going to lead you so, to something new, something fresh, you know, something that you're going to have to take the leap of faith on. It's, you know, that page of Pentacles, the new, new beginning is going to come in. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this has to do with your career. You definitely have something new coming in here. You have Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. So, you know, even slow progress is progress, right? And sometimes with things like this, because with the Four of Cups, that is some type of offer coming in from the universe or from divine, you know, that is about, you know, divine timing, spirit time, not your time, right? You have Nest here, an emotional, secure, loving family is important to you. So very beautiful. You guys have some, some, some new things coming in. You have Leg here stepping into a new experience so some of you maybe this offer is taking you on a new journey on a new path something that you didn't expect that you would do career-wise 
So very beautiful. Please comment below. Let me know how these messages are resonating. Also, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I hope that you guys take care, be safe, and until next time.